everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I want to tell you that the music... <laughs> what did I want to tell you? Uh, this is about the music of the video yesterday. I really wanted to share the whole thing, but because I would... I, it wasn't even going to be allowed to be seen because my girls sang a song of the... Eagles. Eagles. And um, apparently it was flagged really bad and it wouldn't even let me show. So I put a, just a snippet in and a real snippet. It's a snippet and a, uh, it was sort of sad because I had the whole first verse recorded and they did really good, I thought. Well, today um, I also mentioned to Emily, and she remembers because she came by. <laughs> and... Um, I said, well, today, the day after Thanksgiving, we would always have um, celery soup. And she said, I remember you cooking that. And the reason I always had celery soup at, when I was growing up is because my mother would always cook it to help us cleanse our gut after eating a lot of food. Like on Thanksgiving, you'd overeat. And so this way, you would eat, it would help your digestive system. And because Catholics ate no meat on Friday, it was a good Friday meal. So we used to have celery soup. And she used to cook it with macaroni, too. And all it is is celery that's boiled into the water. And it adds a lot of flavor. And make sure you put the leaves in and add enough salt to the water when you're cooking the pasta, if you put cooked pasta with it. Or you can just eat it with the celery and the broth, the soup part, and put some Romano cheese on it. It's delicious. And... Blue Bike and Doyle asked me what keto dressing was because I had mentioned yesterday that we had keto dressing. And that was, and keto dressing is basically the same as my other dressing. The only difference is I don't have any bread in it. And the way I make it is with onions, celery, carrots, um, three meats. I use the beef, turkey, and sausage. And I put mushrooms in it. And then it's got cauliflower and broccoli instead of bread. It is really very, very good. And mm -hmm. then you put it mm. to you cook very it. Very good. <laughs> you cook all these things together and then you stir them together. And I always added a can of cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom soup to it. And so I probably added that to that too. I can't remember if I did or didn't. I think you used mushroom soup on that one. I think I did too. I, I made that one a few years ago because this year I made the regular dressing with the bread or this yeah dressing because mm -hmm. I don't stuff the bird if it, oh, excuse me if you stuff the bird it's called stuffing if you don't put it in the bird it's called dressing okay now we're gonna go to well actually I'll show you what I was making because we're gonna go to the video and we're gonna go to a couple of videos you gotta stay for these these are really good um, I made these are, these are hot pads. I made two, and I've got a third one on the way. I'm, I was making these are these are so fun to make, and you'll see me working on. This is what I'm working on in the video. When you see the video, I got some telemarketer calls, so you're gonna not want to miss this. Stick around, and then you're also gonna see Jim working on the the scroll saw. I put it really fast. I think I put it at 800 speed or something. Right I don't there. know how fast I put it. It's because um, he cut out the Buddha for Emily. Okay, let's go to those videos, and then I'll be right back. For a long way. Yeah, you can do that. But, you know, like like when my father was 93 years old, you don't, you don't, um, you don't expect too many more years after 93. So you... You can expect that. You can expect hope for good. You can expect um, more than 93? Yes. There are some people who live like 110 years, 115 years. So you can expect that from them 20 years more and 25 years more happy life. Yeah, you probably could, but I, I, I don't know. I only know of one person that was 100 years old. And that was back in the 80s when I was working at the nursing home that I saw that. Oh. Yeah, and that was the first one that I ever saw that was 100, and she was loonier than loony. Oh. Yeah. Do you have anybody in your family that is old? Yep. 
my grandmother. How old is your grandmother? 94. 94? Oh, she's like my father. And your grandmother? Wow, you're young. Oh, yeah, I'm just 24. Just 24? Wow. <laughs> my, my father was um, like 30-something when he got married, and I was the fourth child, so the family, so he was pretty, he was retired when my oh. sister was in high school. <laughs> in ninth grade, actually. She had just entered high school. Uh, now come back to the point. Uh, if you have any copy of your Niagara Oh gosh, we have to talk like about that. I really was enjoying our conversation about other stuff. I. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. So you have the uh, electricity bill from Niagara Mohawk? Uh, uh, my grandmother's electric bill? No, she's she. I don't. I never saw my grandma. They were passed away. I never so saw from which them. Company, from they, which company you are using they your came, electricity right now? Well, I, I use, um I don't know what the company would be called because it's a local company. I have no idea. Oh, no problem, ma'am. Have a great Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. You can take care of yourself. It's nice to talk to you. Bye-bye. Oh, nice talking to have you, too. Day. Bye. I don't have my hair on. <laughs> I look bad, too. No, you don't. the dad and you know you know what you know, your mother said my daughter is crazy my daughter is crazy no my mother <laughs> would have never said yeah. that she used to think i was very yeah. smart no no but no no and she said she need a doctor i need a doctor i'm not on medicines yeah. <laughs> i'm not on medicines are you on medicines yes 
You are. What kind of medicine do you have to take? I'm so sorry. Painkiller. Painkiller. What did you hurt yourself at one point? Love. What a pain from love? Did you have your heart broken? Oh no, that's not. That's the worst kind yeah. of pain. That is the worst kind of pain. I am so sorry. Oh, you are such a nice lady. I am nice, and I really, you seem like a very nice lady, too. I'm not a lady, I'm a man. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, I thought you said, what did you say your name was? Robin. Oh, Rob, but Robin, I only know a Robin that's a girl. That's why I thought, I miss, I miss. I misunderstood. I thought you, um, that's a name that can be either or, must be. No problem, no problem. My mother-in-law's name was Marion, and Marion can be a boy or a girl, and my uncle's name, was, a lot of people call him Marion, and it's really Mario. Okay, listen, 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 listen. What? Lisa. Lisa? Lisa is a, a girl's name, isn't it? No, can you please go and grab a copy of your electric bill? Oh, do I have to do that again? I was told never to give out any information. Didn't you hear me the first time? And you said you you heard me? I'm talking, what? I'm talking about your benefit. My what? Your benefit. My benefit? Benefit, benefit. Banneker, I don't understand. My what? No. Uh, do you have a copy of your electric bill? Uh, no, I don't. I'm, and if I did, I wouldn't have. I was told not by my mother, remember, not to ever give it out. Don't do this with me, please. Oh, please. but please. Uh, you know, it's dangerous. I've been told it's been dangerous to, for people to give their information. Okay, you are such a nice lady. You may hang up the call now. Have a nice day. You have a nice day too. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Gosh. Telemarketers. I Gotta know. love them. I know it. Can you believe I actually can get those telemarketers to talk about other things than what they've actually called for? And when we finally do have to talk about what we call, they called for, they hang up on me. But it was, they were good calls. It's too bad I, Jim didn't catch me at the very beginning, but I never know. He, he just had, it was an afterthought. So um, I hope you enjoyed. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.